Hello everyone, I hope you are having a nice time and I hope you have enjoyed this new year 2021. We are now standing outside one of well, most the most weird residential buildings in Kronunhaka, Kronunhagen here. This is uh, Ritari Katu 7 and the architect of this building was actually Theodor Heyer who also designed the Athenaeum uh, Art Museum in Helsinki as well as some other fabulous old buildings from the uh, late 19th, uh, early 20th century. But this building has a weird history because uh, it, they, um, it started to shrink once it was finished in 1895. Then in 1899 they had to rebuild it partly. So uh, then the Hugo Lindberg was the architect who finished this basically, but according to, to Theodor Hoyer's plan. And even here there's on the top floor an attic and uh, this is also one of those buildings from the late 19th century where they received an elevator in 1935 at the same time where they had built the central heating system. And in 1970 this was strengthened so that we can still, still have this building today. It was not torn down. In 1922 uh, the residents started to really uh, take a better care of this building so that until the 1960s they were tearing down old buildings started this was actually saved and that's when that's when they they uh, strengthened it in 1970 so uh, I think we should go inside it and have a better look of it from inside as well there's an elevator that was added in uh, sometime in the 1930s one of the first added ones in residential buildings in Finland maybe the second one maybe the first one who knows but we'll find out so let's go inside. Come with me, please. And it's very elaborate inside. Of course, we have other residential buildings, staircases, where we have these beautiful decorations. But this is a narrow elevator inside, which is a bit typical of this time, I would say. So let's go in. this narrow elevator here. And you can see this one is actually still a basically original. It looks original. We have this call button here. It's still original. This elevator was built uh, in uh, 1933. And well, this building is even older than this. It's uh, either from 1873 or 1895, but then it was strengthened later in 1970. And when the central heating was added here in 1935, this elevator was already built here. And this uh, building has actually two staircases, another one on the Kirkogato street nearby here. But I think it's a good idea that we can go inside and have a look at this even closer, so that I can tell you even more about it from inside as well. Uh, so what we are seeing here is, is an original cab. You can see the bench even in the back. Yeah, a lot of these old elevators in our capital city, so some of them have these benches so that you can sit down and enjoy it there, right? But this floor, of course, is refurbished. The walls are original and back wall, and also here we have this one. This is from where I usually collect my information, especially in these old elevators. You can see here it was built in 1933, and then the serial number. Even here it should be in the both official languages, in Finnish and Swedish, but somebody has cut it out or tried to, 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 to use a mark to <laughs> cut the Swedish word out for some reason. Uh, one thing I noticed about this elevator is that, is that it's not completely original, because they put this alarm system here, the generic one, and here you can see it was actually modernized in 2006. But still with the original buttons. This means it's 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 a good respect. This one is respected. This is great because these buttons are still preserved, They're still original. That is pretty weird because I thought this would be completely original, but inside it was a bit more nice. But still, it's mostly original. Only the this interior here, bench inside, 
and then the shaft, the doors uh, are here still original, but the uh, machine, the traction machine, has been changed. And uh, I am using also this disinfectant because I pressed or used uh, the gate. The gate actually, if you want to have a closer look at the gate here, it's also not original, but um, it still fits in here. This is how it looks like. But this gate looks a bit older than 2006, maybe 1960s or something. But still, I think this is still a great one. And um, by the way, it should have memory. I think when you press the button, let's see if it will go up to the second floor. Even though originally uh, it wouldn't have memory, so it remembers it and goes up. But let's see if it's the case. Yes. So they made it like more advanced, but still preserve the old elevator. The reason we are here, and one other reason is that uh, my YouTube channel has uh, received 50,000 subscribers. And I would like to celebrate it by making this special video for all of you. And I hope that uh, um, you will continue my support for my channel as well. So, yeah. and. Uh, Thank you very much and have a nice day everyone.